Ready to see my latest tank build? Stay tuned. Hey YouTube, this is Brian and I'm coming at you with something new today. Um, starting a new build. This is going to be a 125 gallon reef tank. Um, this is, if you're familiar with my channel, this is where my discus tank used to be. That was a 150 gallon tank and I've taken that down. The discus are gone. We've got a 125 gallon uh, drilled marine land tank here with the side overflows. And um, I've got a build with uh, tons of new equipment ready to, ready to get started. So what I thought I'd do today is just kind of do a walkthrough on all my equipment and everything. And then um, I'm not sure if I'll do this as a separate video or um, part of a kind of a building, building the tank series or something. But anyway, um, when, when this posts, we'll know what I decided to do. So we'll start with the tank. Like I said, it's a 125 gallon Marine Land um, reef ready drilled tank with the overflow kit. Came with everything you need as far as uh, from the tank, uh, you know, above the, above the bottom of the tank. Um, the stand that it's on is an all glass stand that I already had uh, for the uh, prior tanks. I've had a few different tanks uh, on this stand in this part of my living room. Um, the decision to keep the stand was basically because it matched the furniture in my living room. Um, I would like to have gone with a different canopy because the canopy isn't the tallest of canopies. It also doesn't have the front opening doors. It's got a top opening uh, access, but um, I decided to go that route to save money because stands aren't cheap. I would have liked to have gone with a custom-made tank or something a little bit different, but when you start putting together a tank of this size and you want to use, you know, the best equipment possible, costs start adding up really fast. So I decided to go that route. So that's that basically covers the tank and the stand. The stand's going to have plenty of room to um, house the sump as well as all the other equipment, including a uh, reservoir for auto top off. Uh, let's just start with the sump then. We'll go through what I decided to get. So this is the eShops RS300. Um, we're going Berlin style, which means I'm not going to have a refugium. Um, and the reason being is, is simple. It's basically to keep everything simple. Um, one less thing that I have to deal with, and when using Pond Matrix in this sump as the media, I'm not going to need Shado or a Refugium in there um, in order to help uh, with my water uh, parameters. This is going to do just fine. So um, I'm going to be using the Reef Octopus. Um, this is the Classic 202-S. Haven't taken it out of the box yet, but as you can see, it's here. Um, and then I'll also be using the Bulk Reef Supply Reactor. Got that kit. Uh, along with, um, I'll be using a Cobalt uh, MJ1200 for that. And then my return pump is the CJ. Um, what CJ is it? Uh, I don't know the number or the model, but anyway, great pump. Um, and then um, we'll move on over here to um, the Wave Maker. Going with the Max Spec Gyre. This is the new 200 series. This is the, oh, what is this one? The XF250. Really excited about this. Um, um, it's going to be really fun to try this. Uh, heard a lot of good things about gyres, and, and now I'm going to be uh, able to um, use one myself. Uh, my auto top off is going to be the Tunes. Tunzi, however you want to pronounce it. The uh, Osmo Later 3155. Heard great things about this, and so I've decided to go ahead and give this a try. On my other tank, I use the JBJ ATO, which is a fine system as well, but um, I think this one's going to be even better. What else? Oh, big time important thing over here. The lighting. I've decided to go with three of the max spec razor 420s these are the 120 watt 
they are gonna fit perfectly they're gonna go I'm gonna I'm gonna um, retrofit them if that's the right word to the top of the canopy and each one is gonna fit perfectly um, not per uh, between each of these three sections here so I'm really excited to see what these lights can do I've heard nothing but good things about max spec razors so I am gonna have to put some I don't know if you want to say shims or lifters or something um, when I install them to the top because there is this piece down the middle and so everything needs to be uh, equal level and uh, it'll also give a little bit of space for air to get back in there I'll figure out some sort of cooling fan too because um, technically you should have six inches uh, between the top of the max spec razors and any other surface but I've talked to multiple people and that's not always necessary as long as you've got some some kind of fan in there to help cool the lights in addition to what they already have on them um, other than that it's just plumbing I've got a bunch of plumbing over here Here's my first reef tank, my bio cube. For those of you that are new or watching my channel for the first time, plumbing supplies are over here. Um, surge protector, battery backup is right here. Um, man, I feel like I'm missing something, but uh, at this point, I guess I can't think of what it would be. Um, what I'm going to use uh, for rock and substrate is a purple reef. Uh, going to order from them those are those purple rocks and they're also um, already seeded with bacteria and then I'm going to use their sand as well and uh, I'll, I'm going to make sure that I bond them together probably drill them and use rods and uh, probably do that at the same time if you watched my last reef update video on this guy um, I told you that I was going to redo the rock structure in there with a purple reef rock also so I'll probably do all that at the same time but Anyway, for now, that's it. Um, stay tuned. I'll try to uh, show you guys things as I build this and install things and, and do that type of thing. If you're new to this channel, make sure that you do subscribe. I do uh, um, regular updates on all my fish tanks, freshwater and saltwater. And uh, also uh, keep your eye on, I'll, I'll do a playlist for this kind of series of this 125-gallon uh, build. Uh, keep your eye open for that for those of you that have been subscribers for a while thank you as always uh, continue to watch and share and like and comment on these videos and I guess until next time thanks